Ole Road in Addis Ababa. Busy Saturday afternoon. You see all kinds of great hotels here, all kind of shopping going on. It's the main road. We're actually headed towards the airport, which I certainly don't like since I have another week here. <laughs> I don't want to see any parts of the airport. <laughs> But just a look at the Bole Road district, you know, sights and sounds of the city. Okay, so we're here at one of the most popular intersections of the city. You know, everything, all the major intersections are based on the old school British roundabouts, you know? And so this one is called Arat Kilo, four kilometers. So below me, job posting boards. Everybody's looking for jobs, they're trying to get job placement, things like that. You can see, the jobs are not plentiful, but the job seekers are. <laughs> But you know, Ethiopia is a hustling place, so people do their own small businesses. So my friends here tell me that a lot of people they train as doctors, they get special education. And you know, a lot of them here think it's interesting that America wants to come and visit and even possibly think about living here as well. Okay, so now we're gonna have a live market experience. Vendors of all sorts selling shoes, clothing, toys, cooking accessories, and even livestock. Okay, and what's cool about this market is now I can turn the camera around. We don't have to do selfie mode and I can just do a nice POV for you guys. Salam, salam, salam. So we got everything, guys, here. Anything, all kind of shoes, shoes for all occasions. They got safety equipment here for people working on the construction sites. I mean, everything you need, you can get in these small markets. They got furniture, pillows, you name it. Salam, salam. He's got all the good blankets. What you guys have today? Huh? What you selling? Uh, oh, this for school. Yeah, I see they got the school uniforms here for the kids. Ah, machine workers too, safety workers, parking attendants. Okay, I'm a Saginaro. So they keep a little bit of everything here. This is where folks come to get all the different wares. They got the nice dress clothes. All kind of cool stuff. And this is where you come and get more stuff. They got more stuff. More safety worker stuff. Scarves, bandanas, anything you need. I just wanted you guys to have a look at one of these nice markets. You can get over here to this livestock and see all, y'all can see how that's all sold and everything. You get this fresh bird, they'll pluck it for you. They'll cut it up for you. They'll get it totally prepared for you. These guys work hard. So when you come to the market, guys, make sure you come see these guys. They're going to take care of you, all right? You get fresh chicken right here. They're packing them up, shipping them off. See, these birds go straight to natural slaughter. They don't go to a factory. They don't get injected with hormones, stuff like that. See, he's preparing the bird right here. It's already been plucked. You see, this is gonna be sold to somebody in a couple of hours. It hasn't been injected with hormones or anything like that. That's right, they don't use a lot of chemicals and all that foolishness like an American industrial food, as one man called it. Buy the eggs fresh right here, guys. You can see, you can see where they came from. You don't have to worry about anything else happening with the egg. It's sitting around somewhere in some kind of an incubator. No machines to process it, that's it. Fresh eggs. That's enough chicken for me, guys. Man. All kind of traffic in Ethiopia, y'all. That's a traffic jam right there. The largest financial center in the entire continent of Africa. This is the Commercial Bank of Ethiopia, soon to be opened. It is one of the biggest financial centers in Africa, and what you're looking at is not a projection. It is a uh, fiber optic network that has been made into the window framing and steel framing of the building. It makes it do all these brilliant things. This is fantastic. This is Ethiopia.
Okay, so a lot of people are wondering, what is there to eat in Ethiopia? They got plenty of stuff here. They got plenty of Italian food, plenty of American food, burger joints all over the place, and they even have their own version they call KKFC, Crispy Crunchy Fried Chicken. So when you come here, check out some Ethiopian fried chicken, KKFC. Get the original recipe from Ethiopia, guys. Like I said, it's all happening right here in Addis Ababa. Yeah, I can you too. I'm the